Hello friends, this video is regarding form collection in MVC3 Razor. Now, what is form collection? Now, form collection class contains the form value providers for the application and form collection class is used to retrieve forms post values in the controller. Controller receives the form values in key value format and the forms collection, collection class object keys in form collection can be accessed using key names or index now in simple language when user enters data into the form and clicks the submit button now that data has to be posted to some method and that method has to process the data now in MVC those da that data has to be posted to a controller and their form collection is used to access the values on the form so that further operations can be done so let's see through application how form collection helps in accessing the form values or to get the form values we create a new project saying form collection in mvc3 Now to demonstrate how to to demonstrate how form collection works we need to make a form first so let's add a controller we name it as home controller and an index method default index method have been added so let's add a view also we're not using any master page so our view is also added now we need to add one model class which will hold the properties we are going to use on the form so we name the class as register and we say add now we need to add the properties here so I have the properties prepared So our model is ready. Now to access these properties on the view, we need to add the reference of that model. So we say add model. model start register is the name of the class so that is the reference is added now we can access all the properties now we need to add a form on this view I have the form prepared so we just need to copy and paste the form now according to this form the data will be posted to submit form method so let's create a submit form method in the controller we say submit form method which returns a view and as we are posting the data we say it HTTP post and let let us add one a view corresponding to this action method ok so now let's run the application
now for the first time index method is called according to the settings in the global.acx now if I continue it the form will be rendered if I fill the details and if I say submit data is posted to this method now we need form collection or some other way to access all the values on the form so form collection helps us in accessing the values of the form so let us see how it helps now the controller receives object of form collection class and we can access the keys inside the form collection or the collection of type form collection class by two ways either we can specify the index of the key we want to access or we can specify the name of the key inside the collection so let us uh, start with the index so I'm going to access first name and I say collection and as I know first name is the first field so it will be at index 0 as the index start from 0 so I say row string so I'll write for other properties as well so I say last name H H we are going to be stored in integer variable we say email and finally the password now accordingly we are going to give the index and we are going to convert the value of this collection key to integer now let's run the application for the first time it strikes at index method we continue then we fill the data we say as hs12 email as something password as something we submit the form and we get all the value inside the form in our variables we defined from the collection so this is how form collection helps us accessing the form data or the data entered by the user this is the index and these are the name of the keys these keys are basically the name attribute that is rendered on the form that is if we check if we check it on the view view source now you can see the name attribute is first name so this is basically what is the key we get in the form collection so now just take an example of using the key names instead of index for time being we comment all the index instances and we say first name last name H 
هیچ ایمیل and password and finally after posting the data let's don't keep it blank and make it say something we say welcome so let's now run the application Now again I enter some random data Age is 23 Email and password And I submit the form So now you can see The same values accessed using the key names Now you must be wondering Where these key names have been decided or from where these key names has come so if you see in the view level we are binding the property of the model that is we are using a link queue expression to bind this property to the text box so basically the first name the, the name attribute or the id attribute would come from this first name so as we are directly binding it to the property of a model or register class so its name and id attribute comes from here so form also takes the name attribute and that is why we get name attribute as key in our form collection so now we can also check we have uh, all key property in form collection so we can check if collection dot all keys dot contains if it contains desired key then I'm gonna fill or prepare one view data saying contains and I'm gonna pass first name into the view data and we print the same view data in this view the key we used was contains Now let's try run the application. Now let me give correct or proper values such so for brigas. now I submit the form now let me debug it you get all the values using the key name now if you run through here I'm filling the view data and I'm returning the view saying welcome to the name that is Sesc, that is first name so this is basically how form collection can be used to access data or the posted data from the form and and this data can be used to perform further operations like saving or deleting or editing the data or records in the database so this fulfill our agenda of this video and we have learned how form collection can be used in MVC3 Tracer thank you friends